Hello everybody and welcome. Um, I'm actually just in the middle of um, wrapping up a pot that I've got to send off that somebody has ordered. Um, so I just thought I'd talk about that for a moment. Because that's something that a lot of us have to do, isn't it? Is mail out pots, uh, ship them out. So let me just talk about that for a moment. Let's bring the camera down here and um, try and talk practical about wrapping up, wrapping up pots. So um, yeah. Now, one of the things I always used to do was, I always used to look out for as many old boxes as I could. You know, old second-hand boxes. And um, I've got lots of old boxes that I collect, and sometimes I do use them. But it really does save time, and it saves money if you can actually get some flat pack boxes all right like these which I, I I order a load of them you see at a time this really makes life a lot easier when you when you you've got a tea bowl you want to send it off so I have a few sizes of boxes that I get that are always the same size, you see? So it's very easy, I take my box like this and I can then fold it. Another thing it's very useful to have is a sellotape dispenser, okay? So what we wanna do is Take some sellotape. Go over the corners, go over the edges. It's also a good idea to put a bit of sellotape over the inside there. There it is. Now I got myself a decent box. Now I chose this size of box because I, I felt it was uh, useful to uh, for a number of different size pots. You see, so I can put my pot in there, and I got plenty, plenty of room around the pot. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to over here. This is another thing you want to get yourself is a roll of bubble wrap. What I'll do is I'll pull off a section of that. All right, and now I'm going to carefully roll my pot up in this bubble wrap. Now I have another sellotape dispenser because the other one is not so good for... Uh, for wrapping the pots like that. It's better to have a separate one. All right, now I've got to think about the, the packing of the, uh, the pot. Now what I, what I do, what I do is not what everybody else does, but this is what I'm, I do, you see. So I'm gonna take some newspaper and scrunch it up like that, okay? Not too tight, just like that. Okay, so there's some newspaper in the bottom. I'm then going to take my pot, I'm going to put it there, nicely in the middle, you see. Like that. Now. It's going to take a little bit more newspaper. Looks 
looks like I'm running out of newspaper actually. Oh no. So you want to allow allow a good a good thickness. The thickness of your hand, you know, maybe a good inch. Alright. And just So you're keeping the Okay, so you make a little you make a little nest for the pot, you see. You see how it's protected? Like that. Now we need to put something on the top there. And um, sometimes I have I have some of these guys, you see, which uh, they can they can be useful, can't they? Like that. I sometimes, I sometimes wonder if these are going to burst, you know? Sometimes I wonder. So, I've got some of this stuff, you see? So maybe I'll just take a bit of that. And, um, put that there. Put that on top like that. All right. Now, if you've got a business card or something like that, it might be uh, appropriate to put a um, one of those into your into your packet, maybe underneath, like that. Okay. Let's take the dispenser. Any loose edges, you know, where something could get underneath, it's a good idea to make sure you've got that covered, you see? Like that. Okay, so there's, there's our pot in our box. Now I need to decide where I'm going to put my, my label. Uh, I've got some labels. That's another thing that you're going to need to get, isn't it? Get some labels. So get some labels. Take one of these off. All right. Find a nice flat surface. Apply the label. Make sure it's properly stuck down, okay? Because you don't want it to come off. Okay, now, another thing, it is important to make sure you've got Now I usually put at least a, a couple of these stickers on the box if there's some ugly writing on the box then I'll take the sticker and slap it right over the over there like that you see all right so all that is now all that is now waiting to do is to address this the sender's address and who to whom it's going. And that's ready to go, folks. Well, 
Um, I hope that's helped you, maybe. Uh, things to bear in mind, I think, make sure you've got adequate cushioning all around, all right? Don't pack it too tight, the cushioning, or the, or the newspaper, or the bubble wrap, whatever you're using, don't force it down there and trying to get too much in. Allow a little bit of, uh, a little room there, you know? Don't make it too tight. And um, address it clearly. Put fragile stickers on it. And um, get it down to the post office as quickly as you can. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Uh, please go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. We do have some uh, workshops coming up. If you go to my website there, uh, go to the workshops page, you will see there a list of dates over the next four or five months, six months possibly, through to the end of the summer, I think. So do come on a Keep Practicing workshop. These are two-day workshops. Uh, we emphasize uh, throwing, learning to throw, throwing to a gauge. Uh, I generally try to help people overcome those little niggling uh, throwing hurdles that they have encountered and they find difficult. Uh, try and help people on an individual level to try to uh, get them beyond, you know, where they've been. Um, to get them, uh, yeah, to become more competent throwers. So, and not only throwing, also trimming and handling. So, if that's something that interests you, if you're a beginner, maybe you think, and some people write to me and say, you know, I think I am too much of a beginner for your group or to come on a workshop. Please don't think that you're you're one of those don't don't think like that because uh, most of the people and a great deal of people who come on workshops have a great deal of difficulty in throwing and I try and help them so uh, if you feel that you're a beginner don't don't think that that disqualifies you it doesn't at all in fact that you you are a ripe candidate you know to come along because that's what we aim at it's just trying to help people and there may be some others who might feel that they are better throwers and more competent. But you might also learn a thing or two. You never know. <laughs> okay, folks. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. This is just a little simple clip on wrapping a pot in a box. It's pretty basic, isn't it? But, you know, what's the point of making pots if we send them out and they get broken? before that, you know, along the way, you know, there's nothing worse, is there, getting an email from, you know, so-and-so to say, I'm the, you know, unfortunately the pot arrived smashed, you know, that's no good, is it? So, I hope that's helped you. Okay, bye-bye.